Today we want to talk about homeless students here in Indiana. This has become an increasing concern in our state. According to a new study, Marion County had the highest number of homeless students, nearly 5,000. Jennings County had the highest rate of homelessness in Indiana. For every 1,000 students, 84 of them don't have a permanent place to live. So we wanted to bring in Glenn Augustine from the Indiana Youth Institute to talk about this issue. Thanks for being here, Glenn. Thank you for having me, Scott. So our viewers may hear homeless students. Are these people living literally on the streets, or the, is there another way that they're living at some this point? Of, some of them could be. Some of them could be in shelters. And then there are other ways that students are characterized as homeless, meaning they don't have a permanent home of their own. They could be living with other family members, what's known as doubling up. And a lot of times in teenage years, you have kids do what's called couch surfing, meaning they stay at somebody's house for a couple of nights, then move to somebody else's house for a couple of nights. They don't appear to be homeless maybe on the surface because they're getting fed, they're getting a shower, they're getting a halfway decent night's sleep. But the fact of the matter is they're still looking for the next place to stay and where their next meal is coming from. Why are we seeing so many homeless students here in Indiana? A variety of factors. A lot of this is still the fallout from the recession. The, the most recent data available come from the 2013-14 school year. We know in Indiana what we saw after the recession with the foreclosure rates going up high and people losing their jobs. Not only did people lose jobs, some of those people have been em gotten employed again, Scott but they may be underemployed from where they were, so their economic situation is not what it was. Some of these children have grown up in poverty and have never known another way. So there are really sort of two ends to the spectrum, things in between as well. Could be just a change in family structure mm -hmm. that uh, leads to an economic decline and homelessness. So these kids, they really face a number of problems. What kinds of issues do they face as a, as a result of being homeless? Depending on how they come into school, whether they are already behind academically, as many children who grow up in poverty are, they can suffer academic failures that will lead to antisocial uh, as well as uh, social and emotional behavioral problems that can manifest themselves all the way through their adult years. Mm. We know that children who are either high, homeless or highly mobile uh, have a 35% or uh, 35% more likely to repeat a grade and are 77%, Scott, 77% more likely to suffer multiple behavioral problems. That means four or more behavioral problems. So if a child can't deal with their frustration from their living arrangement, they may not just be able to function enough to learn. So schools have to try to wind through those emotional problems to get a child to the point where they can sit in a classroom and learn like other students. We've got about 15 seconds left. Is there any Thing that we can do as viewers? What can we do to help? Uh, the main thing would be call your local school district, see if they have volunteer opportunities, maybe as a tutor, maybe as a mentor. You can go to abetterhour.org, abetterhour.org to mm -hmm. find mentoring or opportunities. Some schools like in Avon, they have a backpack program. They pack backpacks with food for children to take home on the weekend so those children can eat. Sometimes they're looking for help with donations or people to come in and pack the backpacks and send them home with kids. So contact your local schools. Many ways to help. Glenn Augustine, Indiana Youth Institute. Thanks so much. Thank Thank you, Scott. Come